Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about the GATE exam and we are studying DBMS. We are trying to learn that how does the SQL query might change its output based upon the null values present in a relation instance. In the previous video, we saw how the null values present and the not in clause of the SQL behave over the null values and the output might totally change. In this video, we will see the same thing with the in clause. In the previous example, we had the same example, but the clause we used was not in. But now we are using the clause as in clause. So everything is same. Nothing has changed much from the last example. The bigger change has come in the clause and this will change everything entirely. The output is going to change. So you see we have the relation stands for employee table where the four rows are there and this is the query given to us. So select star from employee. So you have to start select all the tuples, I mean, which pass the condition. And for tuples, you are selecting all the attributes from the employee table where the employee number. Once again, the condition is applied on the employee number. So this is the, okay, this is the attribute over which we are going to do it. Employee number in. So employee number should belong in, okay? The value of employee number is in. From the subquery part, you have select manager from employee. So again, in the subquery, we have the independent subquery. It is not related to the main query. It is totally independent. So find out the value of the manager from employee. So which we have two, three, four and null. So I simply write two, three, four and null. So these values are present. Now, for each tuple of this employee table, this statement will be executed. And the condition is that, that for that particular tuple, employee number should belong to this set. The very first value of employee number is 1. So 1, does it belong to 2, 3, 4, null or not? So because it should be either of the 1. I mean this value should be either equal to this or this or this or this. So I hope again, once again, I'm emphasizing on or. So we are going to make use of the logical operator or here. So we are checking whether 1 is equal to equal to 2 or 1 is equal to equal to 3 or 1 is equal to equal to 4 or 1 is equal to equal to null. This is exactly what we are going to check. So in order to check that, what do we find? Is it true? No, this is false. This one is definitely false because 1 is not equal to 2, 1 is not equal to 3. Again, this is false. But because it is OR operator, so we will keep on checking for all the condition. Because if at all any of this sub expression result into true, then this big statement becomes true. Because all the conditional or the logical operator is what? It is OR. So I hope, I think you can recall the truth table for the OR logical operator that, that says, uh, if anything is true with the or, okay, it doesn't matter whether it is true or false, it is going to give us true, correct? So even if it is false, it will check whether in future if we can find out true or false accordingly. So if it is true, then it is true. If it is false, then it is false, correct? So based on that, we, we find this false, this false, this false, and this as we talked before, if anything is compared with null value, it results into unknown. It results into unknown. And false with unknown. We are going to see false or with unknown is going to give you unknown. Okay? It's going to give you unknown. So that is how unknown behaves. And that means this entire statement for the value first for this tuple gives you unknown. That means it is not going to get counted. Now next comes the second uh, tuple that is employee number value is 2. So now here employee number value is 2. Does 2 belong to this? Yes, it does belong to this. So 2, uh, here we just write 2 is equal to 2, 2 is equal to equal to 3 and 2 equal to equal to 4 and 2 equal to equal to null, right? So this statement, this sub expression results into true. Once we get one true, because this is all condition, we are not even going to check them. Okay, now everyone, you, you might be doubtful that 2 equal to equal to null will give you unknown. Yes, it is going to give us unknown, but true, I mean, true or with unknown 
is going to give you true and as i told you just now that once you have got first true you need not to check the further down because this is what this is or operator in case of or if first expression or any of the expression results into true then the remaining expressions are not evaluated right in that case this is completely true and so this will be included so uh, if i have to just say what is going to get included so two is going to get included that this tuple will be selected this tuple will be selected now similarly check for the three then we check for the three does three belongs to this set yes it does belong if this condition will become true for three so this is three equals to three yes and so three is also selected so this one is also selected okay next is four once again check whether four belongs to this set or not yes it does belong so this is also selected and this is also selected all right so that's it out of the four tuples in the table for each of the tuple we we compare this condition we check for this condition and these four tuples three tuples sorry these three tuples were true for the condition the condition match with them and so they will be selected as output in the select star so what is going to be the output you are going to see the output this part of the table question asks what is the number of rows returned by the query the answer is 3 option d now you see this was a detail expression this was a detail understanding how does in work okay what is the meaning of in the meaning of in is this attribute is part of the set of values present here okay it should belong to this place let's see how does in behave in general if at all the tuple value the attribute value matches with anything in the set except the null matches anything in the set then it will be selected because in works on the or condition it need not to match with everything it needs to match with only one of the value okay so if any tuples value which we are comparing with if it matches with the value given in the set it will be selected now what happens in the not in the not in behaves little differently because not in says it is and condition so it will not be if at all the set contains even a single null value nothing will be included nothing will be selected all the tuples that you check for from uh, for the value to be present in this set they all will be rejected by because it makes use of the and condition the null will discard all the conditions because it will result into unknown and one unknown because of the null will make the entire expression as unknown okay so in not in if the set has null value nothing is going to get selected but if we have the in operator in that case things might be selected depending upon which employee number matches with which value all those only will be selected which which are matching and i hope you basically understand the basic meaning of in and not in right so i hope the answer of this question matches with most of your answer we are getting three rows in the output if you have any doubts you can put them down in the comment section i will see you very soon again in the next video till then bye bye take care